evil full metal alchemist brotherhood this is episode 57 let's go just just let's go okay it's a starting with the song so well king is back we haven't seen what's going between Konaim and father except you know he made a big miscalculation well Konaim did so that's kind of interesting and it will be more interesting to see how he's going to defeat father and it seems like Olivia and the master teaming up and also Alex and master's husband see he they also teaming up it's going to be pretty fun to see them fighting and we have a badass team going over here where we have Ed and Ed Scar and Mustang so that's going to be pretty awesome and we have well greed and link gonna fight i don't know we haven't seen may yet that's i'm not sure why but we haven't seen may uh well when i mean may link ah land fan that's what i mean land fan we haven't seen land fan yet in a while uh that's gonna be interesting to see where she is up to uh, what she's doing and i'll well, Al was with the lion guy and they were trying to basically help like dig out the car but we saw somebody walking with sword. I'm pretty sure that's King but wonder where he's going to end up with and who is he going to end up with. Hopefully it will be with Ed. That would be make it even more awesome. Let's see. It will be a great reunion. That Lanfa? Yep. Speak of the devil. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's her. Return? With a vengeance, he destroyed a Briggs tank! Chew on that, you lousy Briggs traitors! Let's rally the remaining troops! We're gonna retake Central Command! Oh, okay. The Fuhrer is at the main gate? Well... This is the first time I've actually laid eyes on him. So now I know. What the bastard who took my granddaughter's arm looks like! I thought he was shaking with, I, I mean, like a fear, but he's shaking with Is that so? a hatred. You sacrifice our country just so you officially <laughs> your talent and enslave the world as your own? <laughs> these two. And I take it that Fuhrer Bradley is also aware of these plans. You was created to lead this country for that purpose. Please. Okay. Why shouldn't we do it? We're creating a world without war! And you just have to murder the world first. <laughs> that is true. He thinks they are doing a good... He's trying to find a good, you know, point. What you alchemists refer to as reconstruction. We wouldn't be murdering the population like you said. They would be given eternal life while dwelling inside us. Don't you see we really? bring the world together as one? That's, you call that as a freedom? And one as all. As you, the few chosen ones of look at us, we will bring unity to the entire country. <laughs> <laughs> see, he's using the rule. I mean, he's using the rule in the wrong way. Side. The only thing these guys care about is themselves. Will you help them? Now wait, listen, men. You need to follow orders. That's the only way I can put in a good word for you. <laughs> With the slippers. Uh, I've spent that's my called. entire life as a soldier, and it just feels wrong to disobey my superiors. But I don't even know what to believe after hearing all of this. You can't make up your own mind after hearing their plans. How can you follow a superior you have no faith in? That is not loyalty. That's mindless self-deception. <laughs> believe in yourselves. And choose life over death. Otherwise, you've led a shameful existence. <laughs> this guy looked like a Santa Claus. I have a family right here in Central. So do I. Yeah, we all do. By following orders, you know what's going to happen to the family. Oh, damn, okay. Basically, they're turning into a rebel. Well, 
Well, sir, consider this our retirement. Come in, operations. What's the status? It's not exactly favorable, sir. The Central Soldiers are getting their second win. What's your current location? We're in the Fuhrer's office. Any survivors? We've been unable to contact any of our allies near the office, General. I've got a bad feeling they've been surrounded by Central troops. Understood. Get out of there if it gets too dangerous. Okay. Get out and leave me behind. Yes, sir. Well, this place is crawling with the enemy again. It won't take much time for their soldiers to fully regroup and seize the building. Then we should hurry. Oh, to the underground? If they technically defeat father, they don't have any... If we get down far you enough, know, reason. I can easily dig us an escape tunnel to the streets. Escape, huh? That's right. I don't mean to sound rude, but you look like you could use a little breather at this point. Mm. They they synchronize so well. Like they, they just can't read each other's mind. You know what they say, great brains think alike or something along that line anyway. We're getting close. So you can feel it too, huh? You mean you can sense his presence or something? Let's just say I've got a bad feeling. The best way I can explain it is that my old wounds are starting to ache. There's a bigger fight going on. Just go in, man. Your father is in danger. <laughs> no. Wait, who the hell is this now? Oh, this guy, that guy with the golden tooth. You're exactly expecting to have an audience. You're gonna give me performance anxiety. <laughs> I told you, the guy with the gold tooth. Who the hell are you? How should I answer that? Hmm. You might know me as the man who created King Bradley. <laughs> that is my most proud accomplishment. You created the Fuhrer. Basically. So it's safe to say, you're obviously working with them! I didn't realize that was you. And here I thought you were at the radio station when in fact you've come here to meet me in person. I can't tell you how much trouble you've saved me, Colonel Mustang. Wait. Oh, damn! Why don't you boys keep them out of my hair for just a few minutes? Are they all homuggler? Damn! More dummy soldiers? No, 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 no. They move too deliberately. Yeah. It's not just on instinct. These Are they... men were at one time the other candidates to become King Bradley. Oh shit! The men who were gathered at birth, raised by the state, specifically educated and trained in combat for the sole purpose of becoming the Fuhrer. It took eleven unsuccessful attempts before the creation of King Bradley. So that means these, these are the rest. Men, you could call them the leftovers, I guess. But one thing's certain: after years of training, they're skilled warriors in their own right. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. It's like fighting King Bradley. They may not be as powerful as Bradley himself, but they are strong. Well, damn. Okay, they are not strong as Bradley. That that doesn't mean they are weak. The amount of people died, man. Even though they are enemies, but still, it's human life. Traitors. What a stupid time to go passing out. Keep resting. Forgot about this. Forgot about this, really? I better keep it in or I'll just bleed to death. This guy. So he's still going strong. Yep, he's fighting against two as well. That's the worst. And exactly those two are not weak. Ooh. What the hell, old man? It's not like I mean to... Incoming! Damn! The 
Yeah, reflection though. Oh. Dude, that old man won't last on his Oi! Damn, he switched sword in there like a second! He makes a difference when you have a weapon you're more comfortable with. Damn! It's impressive how quickly you move. You're even older than I am. However, this is as old as you're going to get. Oi! No, come on! Oh man, fool! Okay, that's. Well, if it isn't the young prince. Okay, yeah. yeah. Lane, ask me before you take over. I can't help but recall the last time we fought when I took that girl's arm. It seems that once again you'd rather risk your own life than give up on something that's not even worth fighting for. Wow! Lord, forgive me. My life isn't worth fighting for. Don't give me that crap! Are you honestly telling me that I should be like him? A king should fight for his people because he is nothing without them. This man is about to sacrifice his own nation. His people, I'll never become the monster that he is! If you are truly a man worthy to be king, you must be able to accept some loss. You need to rest, please! <sighs> I was expecting Lan Fan to just jump in randomly, but see... You're right, young lord. Time for this old man to find rest. Part of your shield greed, protect the young lord's body. Wait, he's still going for it? Become the king you're meant to be. This old servant has no choice but to offer his retirement. Come on, really? Ooh. <laughs> Even while sacrificing myself, I still couldn't lay a single scratch on him. Your Lord, please forgive my shameful death. <laughs> It wasn't the shameful, my stone friend. might have given you the eyes of a god, but even you can't dodge an attack if you can't see it coming. Well, now you're clearly not a meaningful death. Maybe you are going to hell, but you aren't going alone. I'll keep you company on the ride down. Oh, you have my gratitude. Thank you. <laughs> Man died smiling. It's rare, you know that? Rare, really rare to see people die smiling. Ooh! Shit! Dude, that is not just Link, that is Greed and Link. You know, they both said the same thing. They did not like seeing that guy get it. Okay, Land Fan is also here. They did not like seeing Fu getting killed. They both said, wait, his name is actually Dog, I mean, Gold Tooth Doctor? They both said, you know, you old fool. And then you run into a lamppost. Have you ever even driven a car before? Will you shut up? Basically, even Greed himself feel bad for it. He didn't want him to die. This is no time for us to fight. Okay, where's this guy running to? Okay, the smoke. That must be from Colonel Mustang's men. Let's just hope that everyone's okay. Brother. Let's move. So, they're gonna go right. To, how are they gonna get underground? Because almost all the doors are sealed, right? Shit. It is dealing with. 
two of them. This is just ridiculous. Look at them. Their reflection is crazy fast, man. Almost good as king. Ooh. Mustanka, I don't think he can pinpoint fire attack, you know. <laughs> Damn. You keep leaving your back wide open, sir. Well, I gotta give you so, to do it. <laughs> But they are dying, so wait, what is it? Portal of truth. I'm sure you're all familiar with the alchemist's ultimate what is he drawing? human transmutation, of course. If they commit this taboo, they open the portal. And they pay the equivalent price for it. The equivalent price. Hmm. I take it you're referring to how the Elric brothers lost their bodies. Tell me, what price was it that you paid? I lost part of my insides. And then after sacrificing part of myself, I learned the truth. Human transmutation. It can't even be performed. God, I'm sorry. You must find this dull, being a soldier and all. Quite the contrary. Mm. The homunculi refer to those unfortunate enough to have opened the portal of truth as sacrifices. That could very likely be a clue as to what the enemy has in store. So then. I take it there was somebody that you lost, and you wanted to see them again so badly that you risked opening the portal and losing your own body? And what about you? Don't you have someone that you'd risk anything to see one last time? <laughs> That's not really the kind of thing we soldiers think about. We don't see any point in clinging to those who've died. We only know how to fight to keep more from dying. I suppose that makes sense. However, I do have some experience with what you've described. My first encounter with Edward Elric. When a homunculus invaded Fort Briggs, Edward blatantly refused my orders to tell me what he knew about it. At the time, I had not yet been made aware that the enemy had been holding the life of his childhood friend hostage. He just kept repeating, I can't answer that. It was quite clear that any further threat from me would be wasted. In that moment, he was acting neither as a soldier nor as a dog of the military state alchemist. The look in his eyes was desperate. A boy willing to pay any price to protect the things he loved. <laughs> Ed always did have a knack for being stubborn. <laughs> I'd be lying if I were to tell you that I wasn't moved when I looked into his eyes. But still... That doesn't change the fact that he is a naive child. I only hope that he can help lead us out of this fight without his naivete burying us. What is this doctor thing is doing? Fine. I suppose it's about time we got started. <laughs> oh shit! Now number 16, number 17, number 21, number 23, and number 26. Come join me. Oh. Okay. What is this? Now then, here goes. Are they? You see, are they gonna like fuse together? What the hell is it? What happened? What have you done? This, this right here is just the beginning. You seem like a smart boy. Do you know how many military-operated alchemy laboratories there are here in Central? <laughs> the last I heard, they've only got four labs left in the city. <sighs> five. The fifth laboratory. We've got five. It's a transmutation circle. The entire city. Wow. You mean it's connecting all the laboratories into a circle? Okay, but what is this supposed to do? Oi! What's happening? What's wrong? 
Are you okay? That's basically his animal instinct. Telling him to do not step on it. Are they gonna open the uh, truth portal? Portal of truth or whatever? Izumi. Yeah. That's our cue to get the hell out of here. We're far enough down to dig an escape tunnel. Stand back a few steps. Then it's time to part ways. <laughs> We're staying. We can't turn our backs on this fight now. We're on a path leading directly to the heart of the enemy. We didn't come all this way to pass up the chance to storm in there and pop some ventricles. <laughs> sure about this? You saved our lives. Thanks for your help, Azumi Curtis. Don't I would, I would expect her to actually fight though. But let's see if, they, if she can even first escape. Oi! He's offering all five of these. Oh what? Oh! What? No, 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 no. That's gonna the same gonna happen to Horror I am too, right? So it doesn't happen to Mustang because he haven't opened the. I know he haven't opened the uh, portal of. Ah, come on! Okay, they haven't. Okay, let me get everything straight in my head before I speak. So I know it because I thought the doctor was saying about Mustang. I thought something would happen to Mustang, but it seems like since he haven't opened the uh, portal of truth, it didn't happen to him. But he's a potential. They said he's a potential sacrifice. So. This is the same supposed to happen to Horaim. Huh. So Fu is died in this episode. Like I said, there has to happen some some of the old well not some of the old, some people might die because of the war is really large scale and all. We won't come out with, you know, unscratched, so Fu is the first to go. But we saw greed and Link, they're both screaming for him. So it, that just shows greed. It's just, he's, he cared for the old man. So, yeah. That was actually sad when I saw King Bradley cut the, um, credit, like the light off. I was like, dude, really? This guy ready to sacrifice his life and he didn't gain anything. But thanks to our crocodile man, he was able to defeat him. Well, not defeat him, at least scratched him. The first person to scratch King Bradley, let's put it that way. Uh, okay. It seems like King Bradley uh, versus Link Vuku, I mean Link is continuing, so I'm looking forward to that. And also, uh, Landfan C is also there, so I'm looking forward to that part. Let me know your reaction, your thoughts, everything in the comment section, I will check them out. If you do have any feedback for me, do comment below. Uh, that's about it for the video people. Have an awesome day and see you guys with more videos.